tuned into Wolf Football Radio with Howlin' Hank Jones. It's Friday night, and that can only mean one thing. Time to throw on your green and gold and head down to Clifton High to support your Wolves. We're counting down a kickoff where quarterback Reed Johnson will lead our pack against the Bowman Tigers. You can still feel the fire in the air after last week's victory, and tonight's homecoming game is bound to get the entire town's blood boiling. So be sure to give our boys a warm welcome tonight with your best Clifton Howl. And for any Wolves currently listening, you know the drill. Go, fight, win. Samantha's arm is badly burned, but it's treatable. It's painful, and there'll be some scarring. Is she gonna be all right? She will. Thank you, Reed. Look, I, I, I just, I just wish I had done something before it. it... Mr. Gleason, it's standard procedure for us to hold Samantha for 72 hours after a suicide attempt. Okay. And also, since she's a minor. We had a legal obligation to notify the police about the sexual assault. Wait, what? Just getting to that. Detective Jody Miller. Where's Mike McGay here? He retired. He started last week. Samantha? Sam? The paramedic said you told him you were sexually assaulted by a football player after the game last Saturday. Oh my God. I need you to tell me what happened. Sam, I know this is difficult, but if you don't talk to me, I can't help you. I need you to tell me who I should be talking to.
If you can't tell me, maybe you can show me. This one? This one? Him? You sure? It's this birch, that's her. There's a back. I'm just gonna go talk to him. When she's released from the hospital and off all of her pain meds, I'd like you to bring her down to the police station for an official statement. I'll be in touch. It was our fault we had to forfeit. Hey, don't worry. Coach Miller will make sure that scout comes back. Oh, I'm not losing my chance at a scholarship over a little fireball. Mm, you're sweaty. Never stopped you before. <laughs> Is cereal? Yeah, they said a cop was at the hospital asking questions. Christopher Birch. I need you to come with me. What? Why? We need to talk. Why? Let's discuss that in private, Mr. Birch. You got any handcuffs? You might be into that type of thing. Hey, shove it, Rodriguez. <laughs> can I call my parents? You can call them from the station. Let's go. Just him, why not everybody else? Sam, you can't let the team get away with this. Especially Reed. Reed saved my life. But he was at the party. No, he wasn't. We broke up and he left. Why would you say that you weren't even there? Well, from what I saw online, you weren't even conscious. Sam, did you black out? Do you even remember what happened that night? Sam. Do you remember this? Stop it. Sam, stop it. You tried to kill yourself. There are people there. They know what happened. Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Get out! Get out! Get out! Stop it! Baby, I got you. It's okay. Ever since it happened, I can't. I can't sleep. I can't feel anything. Why you got your mind?
I mean, I knew she was just getting back at Reed, but... Reed Johnson? Yeah, they broke up. They had a screaming match. He flew out of there. Sam was looking for new territory. Reed's your friend. He's a wolf. And because you're both wolves, Reed would think it was just fine for you to have sex with his girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> Look, we're swimming in a small pool. Now, I admit, I wasn't thinking it all the way through when she came after me. She's really distracting. So you're stating that Sam came on to you? I guess now that she was finally free, she needed to go crazy. Hmm. So mutually consensual. Well, totally. Look, this girl is like a known commodity. Sam Gleason is just another slutty cheerleader who woke up hungover and decided she didn't want to be the girl who just slept with her ex-boyfriend's best friend. Seriously. That is all that's going on here. Christopher Birch, Jody. What are you doing here? My sister takes my star player into custody. In questioning. Without calling me first. I don't need your permission. So this really is about my team, isn't it? No, actually, it's not about your team. This is about Sam Gleason being in so much pain, she decided the only thing she could do was to set herself on fire. Chris Birch is a good kid. And what about Sam? Is she a good kid? I'm not saying that she's not. But I've got scouts coming to see these kids for their next game, which is the most important game of their lives. I need Birch on the field. Detective Miller. Mr. Gleason? Dan, do you need something? Yeah, Sam, um, we have a, we have a thing. She keeps her mess behind closed doors and I don't ask questions. But I found this in the back of her closet where she knows I won't look. It's Christopher Burch's number. It's his jersey. This is it, right? This is the, this is the proof you need. It's possible this could be helpful. Thank you. I, I don't I don't know what to say to her. I don't. I don't know what to do. One day at a time, all right? Just hang in there. Okay. I was just thinking maybe deep dish. That's all the hospital food. And... Yeah, whatever you want. I'm not really hungry.
and welcome to CHS Live. I'm your host, Grace, and today we will be discussing life as a Clifton High cheerleader. <laughs> we basically run things around here, but we're not snobs. We're nice to everyone. Right, Izzy? Oh, yeah. I'm really nice to a certain football player. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. I love you guys. <laughs> CHS Pride! Woo! We got the test results back from New Jersey. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us anything we don't already know. Which is what? That Sam and Christopher were together the night of the alleged assault. Alleged? You don't believe me? It's not about what I believe, Sam. It's about what I can prove. Is there anything else you remember from that night? Just what I already told you. We were in the locker room, and then I got in a car with some of the guys, and then I woke up in New Jersey. Do you remember which guys? Come on, there had to be some witnesses, somebody who saw something. Dan, Dan, no one has come forward. Well, then do your job. Find them. No one's going to talk to you. Because Christopher's a wolf. So you're not keeping... Dan! Did you get all your test results? You had no STDs. In pregnancy. I'm on the pill. That's good. That's good. So no long-term physical effects. This is good. Lucky me. You know, when my mom died, I was sure that that was it. That was the one horrible thing in my life that I'd have to deal with. <laughs> and then this happened. If you remember anything, anything at all, you call me. Understand? Yeah. I will. Gonna be ready, so I guess I am as ready as I'll ever be. Me? Uh, I thought I could uh, give you a ride. You know, you don't have to walk in alone. Yeah. I guess you should get going. Seriously, Sam, why would you light yourself on fire? Why, why would you do that? Why don't you tell me what happened that night? Because all I remember is waking up bruised and bleeding on my front lawn. I don't, I don't want to hear about that. But it's true. I couldn't even walk. I had to crawl to Sam, my front stop. door. Sam, So I yes, I tried to light myself on fire. After a week of not sleeping, of feeling like I was dead inside, like I wasn't even alive. Everything was crashing down on me and no one even knew. When you tackled me, it felt like the first time that anyone was actually seeing me. Like I actually existed.
Yeah, the therapist said that um, I was in shock from the trauma. So you, you aren't actually suicidal? No. No, at least not today. I heard you, uh, you talked to the cops about that night. Yeah. Well, I tried. I don't really remember anything. You don't, um... You don't actually know what happened, do you? Night after we left school. I know how much the wolves like to brag. Yeah. I don't. Okay, I swear. So you're not a team Birch? No. So now can I ask you something? Anything. Just for today. Can we pretend that everything's normal? Thanks for picking me up. Just a ride. I think we both know it's a little more than just a ride. Move on, dude. She did. Of course he did. How else is he gonna get through bio? Hey. So you're back. You okay? Yeah. Um. Well, almost back to normal. I came to visit you in the hospital. You did? I don't remember. You were asleep. Time to go. Practice this afternoon, 3.15. I'm not gonna... It will be good for you, okay? Back on the team. Moving on, all right? Are you okay? I'm fine. Stop asking me that. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, huh? No cell phones in practice. The third time this season, right? It's mine for the rest of it. Let's go. Take a knee. All of you guys over here. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but you need to get your heads in the game. We've got scouts coming. Some of your careers are on the line. Time to get to work. Are you good with that? Yes, yes coach. coach. Are you good with that? Yes, yes coach. coach. All right. What else is... 
Nice of you to grace us with your presence, Birch. Uh, yeah, I just got out of lockdown. <laughs> Y'all think that's funny? Go out there and give me 50 right now. Lee! Lee, wait! You have to get that phone back. Remember those selfies I sent you? What do you want me to do? It's coach. Watch your wrist with the high V's. Other than that, we're looking good. Sam, let's work on that bleacher beat you choreographed. Give me a W. Sam, wait. Real classy, ladies. I gotta eat, Sammy. Why? Because eating is part of normal, and that's what we're trying to do here, right? We're trying to be normal. I'm not gonna be normal again, Dad. That's all we said when Mom died. And when we were right. Look, we'll find a way to, to work through this, okay? We'll get a, a private investigator, a lawyer, or something. We'll, we'll move. I thought you said we couldn't afford to sell the house. can't do anything about it. This is our new normal. Welcome to the new normal, Dad. Another Friday, another shot at glory for our Clifton Wolves. Tonight, the pack squares off against the Fairview Centurions. We've got a hot streak going, so let's help our boys get another win. See you at the field. <sighs> Morons. Come with me. Where? Does it matter? that you showed me in the hospital. I went online the morning after just to try to figure out what happened to me that night. And everyone's photo wheels, their waves, their feeds, everything was gone. I know something happened. I just don't know what. They took it down. After being total idiots, they got smart and took it down. But, but you saw it. I saw it. And I have it. You have it? Everything from that night. Pictures, photos, everything. I have it all. Why? Because despite the fact that you haven't talked to me in five years, you're at one time my best friend. And I am and will always be on Team Sam. Did you show it to anyone? Send it to the cops? No. I wanted you to say it first. Sam, do you remember any of this? I don't even know how that could be me. Could they have, uh, I don't know, could they have photoshopped or something? I don't think so. I just pulled everything I could find. It's not really in any order. Where was this, Sam? I don't know. I wanted to archive it as fast as I could before people took it down. Look, there's even a tweet here. Dudes, crush this feed now. And humanoid. He wrote 32. Christopher's jersey number. Exactly. 
What happened to the uniform you were wearing that night? I don't know. I had to get a new one. So, when are you going to do it? Arrest them. Arrest who? Just a bunch of kids with social media pages. All these people were there that night. Ganji, that's Brad McCarthy. Wolf Lee, that's Lee Mathers. Stock boy, his profile's been deleted, but I'm sure that can be figured out. Grace Cheer is tastic. All these people know what really happened. Look, you've done an incredible job. I appreciate everything you've done. Appreciate. So you're not going to charge anyone? I don't have anything to charge anyone with. I brought you all of this evidence. It is an evidence. This is just a bunch of people saying a bunch of things uh, on testing, social media. writing. That's proof. That's yeah, written testimony. Right now, it's just hearsay. But I'm hopeful that this is a See, good start. See, that was just violated. And a lot of people know what happened. They posted about it. They talked about it. They took pictures of it. But none of them did anything to stop it. They just stood by and let it happen, and that's not okay. Don't get me wrong. What you girls brought me is an excellent starting point, but I need evidence in order to make a case. Proof. But you're looking at the pictures. That is proof. Are those Christopher Birch's hands? I don't know. Well, whose hands are they? I don't know. I don't think I know him. Hmm. Could be anyone. Did you give him permission to touch you? No. Mm. You said you don't remember anything. How do you know you didn't say yes? Because I know. Did you and Reed ever have sex? Did you and Reed Johnson ever have sex? What does it have to do with anything? Mm. I... Yes or no? Sam? Reeves my boyfriend. So? So, yes. Prior to the night in question, have you had any sexual encounter with Christopher Birch? No. Are you sure? We made out once in a closet, but that was it. Okay, so you do have a sexual history with Christopher. You're calling it seven minutes of heaven in the sixth grade a history? Are you looking to continue that seven minutes the night of the party? No. Because Christopher says you No. Were. Well, you just told me you don't remember anything from that night. So how would you know that you weren't looking to continue your sexual relationship with Christopher? The night in question. I'm not interested in Christopher in that way. You had a fight with your boyfriend. Maybe you were just trying to get him a little jealous. I broke up with Reed, not the other way around. What about the other boys on the team? Have you slept with the any other of them? Boys? You said you were so drunk that you blacked out. How do I know that Christopher isn't telling the truth? That you wanted to have sex with him as much as he wanted to have sex with you? That you wanted all of them to watch? That's enough! I know what you're doing. You're testing me to see if I'm ready for this. I need you to know this is going to be hard. Now, if we do this, if we really go after them, you can't doubt yourself, Sam. Because that's what they want you to do. They want you to roll with it and be quiet. And you have got to be loud. Hey. So what'd they say? We're gonna bring everyone in for questioning. All right, good. But. Well, you just got really angry in there. So, is there a problem with that? Aren't you supposed to like, be the change you wanna see in the world? No, I get that. I, just, I, I don't think anyone's ever stuck up for me like that. And you haven't been hanging out with the right people. No. I think you're probably right about that. Sam, you can't let them get away with this. It's not right. It makes it like it's okay, and it's just not. I know. That's why I need you to stay angry. I need you to stay angry so that I could do this. Do what? 
the site. Way back. We need to look at everything. We need to piece it together, figure out what actually happened, so we can figure out who's to blame. Aren't the cops doing that? Okay, Detective Miller literally just asked me what a hashtag was. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to do this ourselves. Okay. I'm gonna need a printer and a whiteboard and some snacks. Actually, like, lots and lots of snacks. Yeah. <laughs> Birch forced that girl to have sex with him. Yeah, just can't prove it. Well, even if he did, what happens next? What do you mean? She was so drunk she doesn't remember it. How will we ever know she didn't consent? Well, she wasn't capable of consent. How do you prove that without a toxicology report? So when are you going to start to bring them all in for questioning? Tonight. Why? Just want to let the switchboard know to get ready for some death threats. Hey, Dad. Dad. Frankie's coming over tonight to work on the timeline with me. So we're just going to order dinner, okay? Fine. Whatever. Are you mad at me? No. Hey, that was really believable. Dad, you knew that I was having sex with Reed. If you didn't want me to, then you should have taken me to the doctor to get on the pill. Then what would that have done for you? I just wanted you to be careful. And I was. Sammy, you weren't. Dad. Sammy, you weren't careful. Why did you do it, Sammy? Why did you have to get so drunk? I didn't mean to. Look, I taught you better than that. I told you that people do stupid things when they're wasted. You have to do everything you can to protect yourself. And not getting drunk and putting on a condom. I know, I'm buckling my seatbelt. You told me a thousand times, I know! Then why didn't you... Why didn't you do it, Sammy? I had too much! That's not... I was sad! I wanted to have a good time! I don't know what I did. People kept handing me drinks, and I kept drinking them because it felt good to forget about the rules and be careful. I'm always careful, Dad! I made a mistake. You damn well did. Stop acting like what happened to me was my fault. Sammy, I don't, I don't think that. I just know I taught you better. No, obviously I didn't learn it. A scout coming from Westlake next week. You just took my entire team in. I don't think you understand what football means to this town. Being a wolf means that these kids have a shot at having a better life than their fathers, who are still unemployed since the economy went belly up. Better than their mothers that drive an hour to clean some rich guy's vacation home. Football is a passport to the world for these kids. They get scholarships. They get to go to college. They get educations. They get a shot at making their life better. And they thank me for it. They call me and they say, thank you, coach, for the house, for the job, for, for their kids, for their lives. Their parents will stop their cars in the middle of the street and say, coach, thank you for saving my son. Thank you for turning their crap into a pot of gold. And that's commendable, truly. But it doesn't mean they get to do whatever they want to whoever they want. They are not above the law. I am not saying that. All I'm saying is that their kids, they all got drunk and they took some pictures. Do they really deserve to lose everything for that? If they broke the law, they do. This isn't even about the kids. This is about me, isn't it? Damn, come on. Don't be ridiculous. I moved here to try to have a relationship with you. 
You moved here because you were broke. And I helped you get this job. I was broke because I was taking care of our mother. Something you didn't have time for. My kids needed me. Mm-hmm. And I have a job to do. All right, well, you keep on digging. My wolves aren't going to tell you anything. I need you to sign this. And I need your phone. Just you got this one. You're a wolf. You know what to do. Reed Johnson. Come with me. Start here. The end of the game around 9:30, and we end up right here at my house in the morning. Only if you're up for it, Sam. Yeah. Let's tell it. She was mad, and and we fought. So I uh, I left. I shouldn't have it done. You didn't go back to the wolf after party? <clears throat> no, I, I was pissed, okay? I, uh, I didn't really want to see her. So you had no idea what happened next? I turned my phone off. Look, she was texting me and I, I didn't really want to see that either. Later I heard there were some, uh, some photos and videos that went up online. By the time I went looking for those, they were gone. Do you think Sam wanted to have sex with Christopher Birch? I don't know. Before... Before, before, before. So... You went to the wolf after party with Isabel and Sam, huh? Well, we snuck into the locker room. We didn't really have to go anywhere. But you hung out there together. She was too busy fighting with Reed to hang out with me. And after he left? We had a few drinks. She had a few more. She complained about him. Boring. We were all hanging out. Drinking in the locker room. Sam Marie had another blowout. I was with my girlfriend, and Sam came out and just snatched my drink out of my hand and downed it. Wolfly, a mighty red cup, and you, she will drown. The party was basically over. I just wasn't having any fun. And Izzy had left because she had to fly to her grandmother's birthday party really early the next morning. So how was Sam supposed to get home? She dissed my boy, Reed. I mean, he loves her too much, so she dumps him. And then she's single for three seconds and she's coming on to my buddy. You took this picture? Action shot. And then what? We were bored. The party broke up. And you drove. Look, I just thought it was fun, okay? started to rain, and Sam was acting really wild. Looks like I was having fun. So? You're allowed to have fun. And where are we going? Nowhere. Nowhere? Where else is there to go around here? And what happened on your way to nowhere? I don't know. They were in the back joking around. What were they doing? I don't know. I was driving, okay? That's Jordan. That's Chris and that's Lee, so who's taking this photo? I don't know. What was I gonna do, force her to leave? You didn't answer any of her texts. I thought you two were friends. I was asleep. Really? Because it looks like you and Izzy had a long conversation. Right about that time. Izzy, 
I'm not answering, and I'm definitely not going to go get her. I'll get in so much trouble, not fair. She gets drunk, I get grounded more. The conversation you later deleted. Look, I wasn't supposed to be online. My parents check up on me. It's not fair. I left. She should know better than to get trashed like that. I don't even know what I was trying to say. It's not like they tried to find out. Maybe they did. Come on. So you and Sam are best friends? Not anymore. We have pictures from the party before you left. Looks like you two were having a great time. I guess. There are a lot of pictures on that phone you sent us. Some of them are pretty revealing. So? That's my phone. It's private. No. It's not. Not when you send pictures of yourself to your boyfriend, Lee. Is he? Sam is your friend. She got hurt that night. Do you have anything you want to tell me? Reed is Lee's best friend. She dumped Reed and slept with another wolf. I couldn't be friends with her even if I wanted to. Uh, haven't we talked enough about this already? The last time we talked, you didn't say anything about a car ride, Christopher. You didn't say anything about the park. You didn't say anything about there being other boys there. <laughs> Somehow you left out all these little details that you're telling me today. I didn't see why I should get my boys into trouble when they didn't do anything wrong. It's bad enough you think I did something wrong. You don't think what you did with Sam was wrong? Not when she wanted it just as much as I did. Car ride. Sam, Christopher, Jordan, Lee, and the other guys. Who else is there? I got a text to meet some wolves at Grant Park. I drove there and we got out and we were hanging around. Started joking with Sam about a photo shoot. But everybody there was screwing around. Everybody. And then I took a walk so they could... They wanted me to take a walk. Wait a minute. Are you saying that Chris and Sam had sex in your car? Give me your keys. The guys came back after we were finished. We dropped her off at home and we went to get something to eat. And that's it. Oh. She wanted the jersey. Like a uh, prize, you know? Something the cheerleaders do, they collect them. I'm sure she has a few. Did she ever say no? No. Was she conscious? Totally. She was kind of a screamer. Are we done? Oh yeah, she looks trashed. Stock boy. Oh, she's trash, all right. Hashtag cheerleader and she's coming my way. Oh, stock boy. I don't know, I can't figure that out. It just stops. It doesn't stop. It never stops. No, I mean there. From 2.17 till just past three. Nothing. It's not nothing. It's missing from my mind. It's missing from my life. It's not nothing. Nothing from the boys. We have texts between Izzy and Grace and the other cheer girls and waves from that guy we don't know, but... What happened between 2.17 and 3 a.m.?
for a cheerleader uniform, anything with wolves colors. Vivian, what you got? Well, Jordan's car is a dead end. A uh, couple of long blonde hairs that could be Sam's, but all that would prove is that they gave her a ride home. No uniform, no semen, no evidence of anything except fast food wrappers and rank sweatpants. Okay. Well, we'll just keep on going. Um, Jordan's parents are upset that you seized his car. I don't care. Tell them you can have it back after we finish with it. Okay. Is it to post something on the school blog? Dude, I am the school blog. We want to post. Everything. Because people need to know what happened. They need to know that it can happen to anybody, and someone out there has to know what happened to me between 2.17 and 3. Okay. This wolf pack is unstoppable. State is I hate modern art. So All art, actually. What's going on? This is good, right? It's good. Look, someone saw the car at the park that night. Good. He sent that to Jody. Look at this. Brave soul. Hashtag true leader. Wait, really? Curly. Hey. <laughs> Why is she doing this? Putting everything out there. She's making sure it doesn't happen again. forever on the internet and it's going to follow her wherever she goes this is about sam owning what happened to her she needs the world to know the truth well, honestly i know it's hard to understand i know all i do is i see those photos over and over in my head and then i think what if her mother is sam And for the first time, I'm first time, I'm glad she's not here to see what I let happen to our little girl. Oh, no, there's nothing you could have done. Nothing. I see him. They live four blocks away from us, and every time that I see him, I, I think this is going to be the day that I can't stop myself from killing. I mean, you're questioning these guys all day, don't you? Don't you want to kill him? Yeah. Honestly. Sometimes, yeah. But have 
rather put him in jail. Dan, I know this is hard. It's unbearable. Sam needs you. She needs you to be her dad. your damn mind. Now, what if somebody saw you? I'm trying to help you here. So what does it matter? Why does that bitch get to ruin our lives if she doesn't remember any of it? If those recruiters look at the site, coach. It doesn't matter what happened. I'm never getting into their school. Doesn't it matter that I was drunk, too? I was drunk, too! Right, come on. Birch, come on, Birch. Birch, don't play with me. Come here! Did you see Lee Mather's face? Mm hmm. It's like amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, do that again, but do it more Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Let me see. No, I'm posting that. Don't post that. Girls, we had enough of the postings. Posting and tagging my new BFF. Give it to me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a new video on the blog. <gasps> what is it? Oh my god. It's mm. from 2 30 a.m. that night. Want to take on all of you. Every single one. Want to take on all well, of you. Well, it's good, right? Every single one. Want to take on all of you. Every single one. Want to take on all of you. Every single one. Want to take on all of you. Every single one. Want to take on all of you. All of you. Every single one. Every single one. Sam. I'm sorry, I can't keep watching this. All of you? Every single one, like, like the entire football team? I'm sorry. school. I'm sick. I think I have mono. Mm. You ever talk to her? Excuse me? Your mom. You ever talk to her? You know, like when you're in the car, driving somewhere. You ever tell her something you think she'd want to hear? 
sometimes. Yeah. How'd you know? My mom just passed away a couple months ago. I got 20 years on you, and I still want to tell my mom everything. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, Coach Miller must be happy. About what? That it's over. Oh, 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 no, no, no. No, it's not over. It's not? No. I need you to look at something. No, I can't watch it. You have to, because I need to see if you recognize where this is. It's not the school. I already told you, I don't, I don't know. Sam, please, Sam, just give it another try. Wait. I want to take on all of you. Everything on one. I want to take on all of you. Everything Wait. on one. Right there. Isn't that Reed's bag? Why would Reed's bag be there? So did you just watch or what? Sam, don't do this. What did you tell the cops? Look, I gave them the address of the house that we were at. You were there. I saw your bag. You were there and you lied to me. I didn't see anything. Okay? I just came back to get my bag and there you were with the guys. Well, did you tell the cops what the guys did to me? I told the cops everything I know. Okay, what else do you want me to do? I want you to be on my side. I want you to stick up for me. I want you to hit somebody. I want you to be angry. I want you to do something. You know me. You know me better than anybody. I don't care if I was drunk. Do you seriously think I wanted to have sex with the entire football team? I don't know. You know me. What's your problem? You are. my backpack there they knew i was there well then you let the police do their job you were putting your teammates lives in jeopardy did you see what they did to sam i'm sorry what happened to that girl but as much as you don't want to hear this she knew exactly what she was doing you know what for the last three years i let myself believe that you knew what was best for me that that you looked out for me in a way that nobody else ever has but I can't live like this. I can't live like this knowing what really happened. All right, you, you go look. Look around here, I don't have that damn phone. But you remember, whatever happens is on you. I forgot this. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. Are you a fan? 
Nah, I just wear the shirt. <laughs> I saw them in concert last summer. At the pond? Yeah. I was there. Yeah, they were great. I was there too. Jeez. Uh. Wish I had run into you then. Could have seen you do all those cheerleading moves a lot sooner. You really know how to support the team. The entire team. CHS, you're the best. Let me show you all my... Oh, I, I, I'm so drunk. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Taking your photo, stop, boy. These are good kids, Jody. I got an eyewitness that says otherwise. And DNA evidence on the uniform. We're done. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot provide one, one will be provided for you. You know what? You understand these rights and rights Locking my boys up is not going to change what happened to you. What happened? What did happen to me, Tim? No, no, no. I'd like to hear it. All I'm saying... Destroying these kids' future is not going to change what happened to you in the past. You were drunk with Roger Nelson, okay? We all were drunk. We were kids doing foolish things. We can't change them. How many times do I have to apologize? We can't change what happened. Change it? No. Make me feel like I've given an incredibly brave 17-year-old girl the right to stand up for herself, that I've made this world a slightly better place. Absolutely. See, I believe in what I do for a living, baby brother. I hope you can say the same. The DA made a deal with Orrin White and Ryan Kirkpatrick, a.k.a. Stockboy, for naming some of the guys that were there, so they're going to do some time. But we still don't have anyone speaking to Sam's ability to give consent. And my uniform? The only DNA match we found was to Christopher Birch. So what does that mean? He's 18, she's 17. Charges are dropped to assault, but the case would be stronger if we could get some of the guys who were there to talk. That's all? All of this and, and that's all that happens? It's something, Sam. It's not everything. But honey, it's something. You okay? Maybe. You? Maybe. Hey, hey, hey. What is that? You hate tattoos. You always said you couldn't understand how somebody could do something so permanent to their body. I've changed. Plus, it feels like being raped is kind of permanent, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, it's, it's, it's fine. It's just that every time I see that tattoo, I want to think about it. I want to think about what they did to you. Or you can think about how hard I'm fighting back. Maybe you can think about that. Vivian? Is that you?
Izzy took it. So we know it's Lee's phone. And Lee uploaded the video. Have you watched it? Yes. And is it enough to arrest him? Yes. You sure you want to see this? Babe, it wouldn't be until the end of the year. You're throwing away all of our plans! Everything! I'm not gonna wait around for that to become a reality. Enough of the Sam soap opera. Teamwork! Teamwork, man! Let's get a You know Orin, right? He just texted me and nobody's home. Oh! oh and the wheels. I don't know. Let's get this party started, all right? Let's go! Whoa, baby! Why did we get so many small bottles? Yeah, Bridge, come over here and wake her up. <laughs> you getting it? No, I'm just standing here with the camera. <laughs> get out of here. Sammy. Come on, wake up. We want you to show us some more tricks. Hey, Come on, bro. Show us what you learned. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? V is for... Victory, victory, victory. victory. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I need to look pretty for the picture. Oh, not pretty enough. Sorry, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, say, it's what you're having. Yeah, yeah, dude. Come on, 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 Go team. Go team. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you miss Reed, Sammy? Yeah, I miss Reed. Reed? No. No, it's not my readers. We're so dumb. We're so dumb. Sammy. Come here. 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 There you go, man. No! Come on! Come on! Come on! You think I want to take on all of you? Every single one. This is not what I want. Don't jump back here. It's not what I want. This is not what I want. No! Turn around. No! Turn around. Hold it down. Come on. Hey. No! Don't try. Stop. 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 What's going on? Oh, I had to go on. On. Yeah, 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 give me one. I know you. Please. I know you. Sam, come on. Look, Look man, she was into it. You want to turn? Hey. She's ready? Shut up, man. She cold, that girl of yours. All right, we were just warming her up. Oh, my gosh. 
Dad? 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 Christopher, I didn't see anything. Did you tape it? No. You'll be okay. team took two 14-year-old girls into a basement. Ugh. I'm talking to lawyers and answering questions over and over. And, yeah. and the Wolves, they're still playing football. They have a lease on bail until the trial. No, it's not fair. No, you're right. It's not. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's okay. Totally understandable. I just... I don't know what to do next. I want to do something. Something big. That screams to the world that this is not okay. Then do it. Find a way. How? And what if people don't believe me? What if they just look at me and say that, that I got what I deserved? Are you really scared of that now? Now that you know the truth, you are one of the bravest people I've ever met, Sam. And if you need to be heard, make sure you are loud. Hey, Jordy. Thank you. <laughs> for what? That's your drive. Not for that.
ever wanted to talk to you. Every single one. It's not what I want. This is not what I want. It's not what I want. It's not what I want. No! Turn her off! Turn around! Hold it down. Come on, hey! Where's the most valuable?